This is 62 CBS News at 11. In the city of Highland Park tonight, passing the buck to taxpayers. Out of cash, Highland Park police and firefighters are laid off. Now the city is ordered to pay after losing a million dollar lawsuit. It's a 62 CBS exclusive, and our Scott McFarland is live now with the details. Scott? Sherry, the bill goes to taxpayers. Every resident of Highland Park will cough up about an extra $100 because of this. A $1 million arbitration ruling against the city. The money going to relatives of a woman killed by pit bulls a few years ago. Tonight, the family telling its story only to 62 CBS. And I miss my daughter. Because I thought my daughter and I would grow old together. You had to know Frankie to understand Frankie. She was a beautiful child. Shirley Higginbotham, remembering her daughter, Frankie. The picture is faded. The memories and the note on the back are not. Three years ago, two pit bulls from a neighbor's home who were allegedly trained to fight tore Frankie apart, limb from limb. Her sister, Shalina, describes the animals. Always hungry, aggressive, really, really mean. They moved, sued Highland Park, and won a million dollars, saying the city dog catcher was supposed to pick up these animals. In his testimony, he admits the dogs are highly aggressive. Relatives say clearly dangerous, yet he didn't take them in. He thought that these dogs were very highly aggressive, very vicious. He thought that they were a danger even to the people with whom they lived. The city's attorney says the attack is tragic, but that the city itself isn't responsible and shouldn't have to pay the million. Higginbotham's family says one million isn't enough, that no amount of money would be. The way they ate my daughter, literally alive, that's the pain. A pain, a guilt pain that can never go away. Back live now, an already bankrupt city hit with another million dollar bill. Difficult times, now exponentially more difficult. Live in Highland Park tonight, Scott McFarland, 62 CBS News at 11.